Hey guys, welcome back to the Moxie Ram. Let's see, what am I gonna show you guys today? So I haven't completed, um, I don't think I've completed anything fully to show you guys. But I know what I'm going to be working on over at least the next day or two. So for my grandmother, she loves wearing these headbands that I started making for her. So she kind of wears them like this and then she does her little ponytail up here, kind of sticks out. So since it's getting into the winter months, she wants me to make her more colors. Although I thought I had made her every color there possibly could be of these headbands. So she went shopping at, I don't remember what store it was, but I know it was one of those Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar Saver something stores. She found some Premier Just Yarn. It's a worsted weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. And she ended up picking up this color, which is the color uh, Turquoise Creative. <laughs> and she got this one, which is red. Just red. So what she wants me to do is I had these yarns, which these are from Hobby Lobby. And this one, the color changes as you go. So it kind of gives it that, um, it's called ombre effect. So you can kind of see how the corner of this, it was like a darker blue and then it slowly became more and more white. She really likes the mix of color with white, which there wasn't that many options, at least not at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's, probably online. So what she did was she picked up these two colors. She said, I want a headband in blue with white and red with white. Now to do that, I'm gonna have to hold two of the strands together and crochet with them. So a white strand and a red strand or you know, white and blue. Crochet with them at the same time to make the headband. But my worry is that it's going to be too thick and not stretchy enough, which she needs for the headband to fit properly on her head. So what I did was I picked up this yarn at Michael's. So it is a sport weight yarn, 70% acrylic, 30% nylon. And the fact that it's a thinner yarn since it's sport weight, I figured this will allow me to make the headband not so thick, but it'll add the little bit of white that she wants on it. Because comparing this one to this one, you can see the white is definitely thinner. I'll show you guys how that turns out. So I have that that I need to start working on. And then I started a one of the projects that I showed you in the Christmas magazine. In one of my previous videos, I showed off, uh, let's see here. I had showed off this bucket hat that I made. And this was using Lion Brands. Oh no, I don't remember what it was called. Lion Brand. Well, I'll look it up and I'll stick it right here in the corner. So that's the yarn that I used to make this bucket hat. And I had enough left over to make another project. So I started the scarf from said magazine. And it's turning out so nice. So this yarn is already stretchy. It already has a little bit of spring in it. But look at this. Look at this. If this doesn't make a cozy scarf. I don't know what will. And no, my scarf is not the three inches wide that you see here. To make the scarf, I have to make three of these strands. I don't know if it turned out exactly as thick as um, the magazine, or long as the magazine showed. It is still stretchy though, so that's good. But I have to make three of those strands so that I can braid them together and make this. 
So this is gonna be the scarf that I have. Three colors, crochet together, and then braided. Now that I'm looking at it, the one in the picture does look a little wider than mine. Mine will be a lighter fall scarf, if anything. Maybe use it in early spring. Uh, so yeah, too bad these um, don't belong in the same season or I could have worn them together as a nice little set. But that's what I have right now. And I'm going to be plopping in some video of me working on this project here. And then over the next couple of days, I'll work on the headbands and then my goal for next week to catch up on everything. Um, it's still been a little hectic between work and other stuff. But my goals for next week are, hold on, there's a lint on your face. <laughs> is to have this scarf completed, which I don't think is too bad because I already have one and a half, almost two of these strands completed. After that, I only need one more to have both of my grandmother's headbands done and to finish the last couple rolls on that blanket. The blanket is actually just about done. I would have liked it a little longer, but I ran short on the yarn and that yarn was one that was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So I could swing by and see if maybe they got more in stock. Um, I'll have to pay full price because you know, it won't be on clearance anymore. But if it's in stock, I could buy more and continue the blanket. So I'm gonna not completely weave in that last end just so I can add some more length. At least that's what the goal is. All right, so I'm gonna plop in that video now of me working on a couple projects. Other than that, I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you.